<laughs> I did not expect this amount of torque being fully sent. There wasn't even like a lift off in the nose. Holy sh! The cornering through here. It's not slower than any of the sports or even race cars I've been doing. Of course, I'm doing something that I'm comfortable with, but my god. 272 in here. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring, welcome to a very special video where we will be taking out the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT and by we, usually I refer to you and I who go to a lap, actually this time my lovely girlfriend is going to be joining us for a lap. Now, I haven't introduced her recently, ever since the first video we made together or something, maybe it's good to put a name to a face, so her actual name is Maggie, uh, M-E-G-I-I, M. -E E G I, not I I. Yeah, good, good that you know how to spell. Me. I'm, I'm got, I get so com like, sh I get so, <laughs> so confused every time I like, panic when I see you. <laughs> yeah, cute, cute, cute. Okay, enough with the cuteness. Let's uh, talk about the car. Very special car. It's currently the fastest production spec SUV to lap the Nürburgring Nordschleife. It has 650 horsepower or 640 PS or whatever it is in brake horsepower. It lapped the Nürburgring in seven point, in seven minutes and 29 seconds, I think, no, or 39 seconds, yeah. Very, very fast, very remarkable. And it belongs to a good friend of ours uh, whose name, I would say, whose nickname on the rent list, for example, is Track Car. He would like to stay known by that way. So, thank you very much, Mr. Track Car, who is picking up this car to US as a European delivery and handed out the keys to us. Okay, let's hop in because actually Maggie needs to go to work, so we're gonna do a lap, and it's basically perfect family SUV, you know? The only thing we're missing are the dogs, but I want to drive a bit faster than we would be able to do with the dogs, and, uh, but also a bit slower because uh, the track car asked me to uh, watch out for the brakes because they're actually quite expensive, but I'm sure such a car should be able to handle one easy lap of a Nürburgring or Schleife. All right, enough talking, let's hop in and uh, have some fun. Woman approved? What? To have a mirror for the passenger? Yeah. Of okay, most important spec, okay. <laughs> you know, I've actually never drove an SUV on track before. Never? Never. I always wanted to do like X5M or something, or let alone the fastest car on the ring. Yeah. Because this is the fastest uh, SUV on the ring at this point. Oh, wow. It's holding the lap record, yeah. We're not gonna do any records, but no. For the records, we're not no, gonna do any. No, records. I need to go to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the also only car, except Polestar, that no M240 was also with the Titan normal the, seat. No, no. Ah, the normal. Normal one. Ah, yeah, because we loved always the. Yeah, that's my stress. Your stress bit. I think it would be nice to have like straps for this car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, the seats are not like they're comfortable for the street, but for the track, I'm not sure if they offer enough support. Ooh, big traffic jam! Yes. Oops. Oops. Okay, so there's finally movement, so we can get onto the track. First, a couple of things I want to mention. Look at the total mileage: 697 kilometers. It's fully, it's fully, it's brand new. Now I know track car did already a few laps himself. And I know for a fact that usually Porsche says like, ah, you can go, you don't need to break in the engine, so you're good. Uh, about the, ah, there he is, driving RM4. <laughs> about the gearbox I want to mention, uh, a lot of Porsche is known for having PDK, the Porsche double kupplung, the double clutch transmission. But this one, the Cayenne, unlike the Panamera that also has PDK, has the ZF 8-speed torque converter uh, transmission. So I drove the car actually earlier uh, to, um, to a dinner and um, when I was driving it felt like really clunky. So that's what the gearbox actually does. It's not as smooth as a PDK. The reason why they apparently put the gearbox in here is because it deals better with weight and especially with pulling weight. Now I don't know who would like to put a trailer 
behind the Turbo GT, well, it could be the ultimate combination, you know, Turbo GT and then trailering GT3 RS or even your cop car to the track, that would be ultimate boss move. Now, let's talk about the modes. We're gonna put it probably in Sport Plus. It automatically puts suspension to stiff. I'm not sure if the car comes with lowering or like adaptive suspension, if it lowers it as well. Uh, traction control. Do we have like some sport mode or something? Does it do anything? Ooh, PSM Sport. And now it's switched off. Well, I mean, if you put a 2.3 ton vehicle in a drift, that would be quite impressive. So I don't think it's gonna do any anything less. Also, at the same time, the Porsche Porsche's traction control is known for being very, very good. So you don't even need to switch it off. <sighs> Excites? Yeah. <laughs> so gearbox and manual. 3.30 to 100, which is very impressive already on the road, so I think the acceleration is going to be quite impressive, but I'm not going to lie, really excited to see the cornering ability or disability of this car. Okay, oh, lots of cones, lots and lots of cones. I didn't hit any of them, that's good. Right, off we go. of traffic no one knows what to do where to go <laughs> I mean that could be one of those videos with we did hundred overtakes on the track thank you Nick he helped us out a lot last year with the flood situation by offering his storage space from Volvo, took the curb, but watched his mirrors and stepped aside. Wonderful. I don't know what the biker is doing there, but maybe he wants to end up on on uh, stateside supercars who was filming there. The acceleration is crazy. The thing is, you don't feel it. I mean, we're going to 100, but uh, it feels like, like 120, 130. Like 
signal so we can go, so we can go. Really, really impressed by the handling. You know, sometimes you think like, ah, yeah, lap record was done with the car with the full row cage, must have been fully tweaked on the inside as well, no way it's a production car. This car is definitely capable of doing these things.
it's really good no it says for itself it's really really good and we really took it easy like we did not like slide because we asked to and i hope by watching this video you agree because <laughs> i really appreciate the trust that people give me with the cars and when they ask me to take care of some certain things or to fully send it then we do as as requested so um yeah no in this case wow ah i need to say something on the last video a couple of people gave me lots of shit for saying like we were the fastest on the track that uh i was too arrogant and had too much ego <laughs> maggie you probably were not fastest on the track but they, they just did not catch up with us at that point so <laughs> love you guys but i love her more oh. <laughs> and we're gonna be in time for work even with uh, oh wow with late uh, with late start because yeah. track was open a bit late that's how it goes when you miss a shuttle first lap then work <laughs> <laughs> nice hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's yeah it was not like super clear lap but hey i'm not Lars Karen. you can watch what he is able to do with such a car but I think it shows for itself how controllable it is and you can really easy navigate through like traffic and track that it makes it very feel secure and that's that's very important I think um, Porsche did a very good job it's not just like a marketing tool it's it's actually it feels like a Porsche as well so good car so uh, I'm happy I was able to experience it because that was really on my list to do something with a fast SUV and proven to be actually really